It was Rachel who greeted us and she was the house manager and she gave us the tour of the house and was so welcoming. We were greeted by such warm staff. And then we got shown to our room, which was amazing. <laughs> and it was so clean. There were two beds with fresh sheets. There was shower. I closed the door and there was just peace and quiet. Mm. Premature babies can't have formula milk. So being able to be close and to express and to put the milk into the fridge or the freezer or take it straight to the to the unit was really important. Yeah. And just a simple task like doing your laundry could help you feel a bit more normal, like you weren't stuck in this nightmare of my child's in hospital and I don't know when they're coming home. It was a real definitive moment in our journey. Um, discovering Ronald McDonald. We wanted to try and make it as normal as possible for Jack in an absolutely completely abnormal situation. So we tried to make, make the room homely. We tried to have meals together, you know, in the kitchen there. So the families that we met at the Ronald McDonald house have become friends for life. Everybody there is nursing yeah. a sick child. You've you got know. something in common with them. And just being able to talk it through with other parents and know what each other's going through is priceless. At Christmas, we took her back to the Ronald McDonald house so she could see the tree. Mm. So the fact that we was literally just a minute away, I just can't emphasise how important that was for us. It was amazing and it really felt like a home, not a house. It's life-saving for the families that are trying to be strong for their sick children.